Hello everyone, welcome to Journey with Char on this lovely evening. I come to you with a quick uh, grocery haul. I went by Trader Joe's and Costco, and I'm gonna show you what I got. So let's get to it. This is the Trader Joe's haul. I wanna get all of the cold stuff out of the way first, such as this ice cream. Okay, so what we have here is the vanilla non-dairy frozen dessert made with almonds. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. I've never tried this one and I'm so excited about trying it. This is everything here and it's yummy, yummy, yummy for the tummy. Cannot wait to try that. Okay, the next thing we have here, my son, the next thing we have here, my son loves these for lunchtime. Um, orange chicken bowl with tender battered dark chicken meat, fried rice, vegetables, and mandarin style orange ginger. That's what that looks like up close. And Joshua got that probably for a Friday or when he goes to work. And this is all the ingredients and information on the back. All right. The next thing we have here, I saw this on Instagram and I said, hmm, interesting. So this is the chickenless mandarin orange morsels. It is vegan. As you can see, it says vegan right there. And I cannot wait to try it. I have some um, salad. I'm going to make this and just have it with a salad and just see how it comes out. So mom and I are excited about trying this. And this is the ingredients information on the back as far as calories. And then that is the ingredients. If you want to pause, that's all that's in there. All right, next thing we have here, we saw this um, New Zealand butter, salted butter made with um, milk from grass-fed cows from New Zealand. So we're really excited about that. We know New Zealand is a place where there is just really green and beautiful. So we cannot wait to try this butter and bake with it, do whatever we're going to do with it. But that's the information. That is the all the ingredients and the nutrition facts right there. All right. And that is the New Zealand salted butter. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Next we have here. Joshua also love these um, chicken burritos from Trader Joe's. He'll have one of these um, one day and then another one on another day with a salad or so. And um, yeah, that's the information there. The nutrition facts. Okay. And this is the ingredients. I hope you can see this little camera is just acting up. I need to get a new camera. But anyway, that is the chicken burrito, all right? And it has beans, tomatoes, and onions. Josh was not a cheese fan, I know, weird. Who does not like cheese? Y'all, I tried everything with this kid, and everybody's kid was eating macaroni and cheese and just being so simple and just easy. And Josh was like, nope, no cheese. No cheese in my life. So anyway, he does not like cheese. Anyway, so this is the uncured dry rub slice bacon. And we absolutely love Trader Joe's bacon. It is so delightful. You put this in the oven and just let it go. And then we always drain the fat in a jar just so we can put in our um, um, a cast iron skillets just to keep them nice and oil and use oil for other things too as well. But yes, this is the uncured dry rub slice bacon and it is absolutely amazing. All right, the next thing we have here is the coconut whipped topping made with real coconut by Sweet Rose. It is vegan, lactose-free, gluten-free, and non-GMO, and that is all the ingredients there if you are interested. And this is the calories, and I love this because it's only 10 calories, but then also, we love the fact that it only has one gram of sugar and then one gram of included sugar, which gives it 2% of sugar. And this tastes absolutely good. I love to put this on top of my coffee. Very, very delicious. Okay, and the next thing we have that is cold here, I love my triple breed cream from uh, France. It is so delicious, so creamy, as y'all can see right there. Oh, just delightful. And it's one of my favorites. I love this cheese uh, by Trader Joe's. I also got my Swiss cheese. Love the Swiss cheese in the morning time. You make some eggs, some mushrooms, and onions, and you have some nice tomatoes in there with spinach. Oh, that Swiss cheese is so delicious. And this one is, it just melts perfectly and it does a good stretch too i absolutely love the swiss cheese um, from trader joe's you guys have to try this one it is delightful all right the next thing we have here are these beautiful organic cherry tomatoes i just love popping these in my mouth 
but then they're also good, like I said, adding them to your eggs, um, or you just have them as a snack, and they're just so pretty and round and uh, just delicious. Just a really good snack to snack on throughout the day, all right, or either add to your salads. We have organic beef bone broth. You can do so many things with beef bone broth, or you can just boil it and drink it, child. People are doing all kinds of things, but I'm going to make something very soon in my Instapot, and I'm going to be using this beef bone broth with that, okay? This is the baby broccoli. My family and I really love the baby broccoli. It's so good. All right, the next thing we have here, we have our little snacks. I love the Ritter Sports. We saw this tonight. Mom and I like to share this when we're watching a movie with a little bit of popcorn, and it is so good, the Ritter Sports. This is a um, candy that is from Germany and if you see the headquarters look it up online it is amazing the headquarters the, the uh, where you uh, go to in Germany and this is the original one with the butter biscuit but they have so many different flavors and I'm telling you they're all delicious they can be very addictive okay the next thing we have here we want to get this out of the way we have 1% low fat milk here okay that's for Joshua with his cereal and I'm so excited to try this you all okay so this is is the almond flour chocolate chip cookie baking mix I've never seen this before and I am just so excited about that doesn't that look delicious so we're gonna see how that comes out and it's vegan and gluten-free and this is the nutrition facts here I hope you can see that and then that is the ingredients so we're so excited about trying this chocolate chip cookie baking mix all right by Trader Joe's I also got the organic Vermont maple syrup because I'm gonna be using this in a lot of recipes if I'm not making myself a little pancake for a lot of different things we just love maple syrup you can do so many things with it all right so the next thing we have Joshua's favorite um, cereal is the vanilla almond cluster cereal, a blend of oat clusters, corn flakes, multi-grain flakes, and almonds. He absolutely loves this cereal. He's always buying the cereal for himself. And this is the nutrition facts, just in case you want to know what's going on with the nutrition facts. It has a lot of high carbohydrates in there, but thank God he's not eating the entire bowl. And then this is the ingredients. All right, so we got that vanilla almond cluster cereal. All right, and then we have our premium walnuts we love these for recipes we love these just to grab a handful we love these um to put in salad and they are absolutely delicious and i love these with cranberry in my salad but yes yeah, so we got some raw trader joe's walnuts and then here and this is the information here if you want to read that okay that is the ingredients for i mean calorie information nutrition facts i hope you can see that and I love this because it has no corn in it. It's cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut oil, I mean coconut flour, seasoning blend, white sesame seed, sea salt, dried garlic, dried onions, black sesame seed, poppy seed, and chia seed, sea salt. That is all that this that is in this entire pack. And I absolutely love it. Clean ingredients to me. And it just tastes amazing. So you guys try that, especially if you're trying to get off like corn chips and stuff this is an excellent alternative all right next thing we have mom and i joshua mom joshua and i go hiking a lot and y'all this is the pioneer woman tablecloth y'all see how pretty it is i just want to try to see that it's on my table and it just looks so pretty we had it set up on the table and this is a flower arrangement that i also did a little fake flower arrangement but it's a beautiful anyway so this is the um one bar 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. We love this because when we go hiking, these are perfect for us to share. This one is the happy birthday cake and it feel, you can feel the sprinkles on it. And oh my goodness, these are so tasty. And then I tried this one the other day. Oh, I absolutely love it. I saw people talking about it on Instagram and I said, let me go try it. I absolutely love it. The packaging is good. Can we talk about the packaging? Y'all, let's just talk about the packaging. I'm such a package junkie and things get me when they're packaged so pretty and just look at that. What beautiful colors. They are fantastic and they are delicious. Perfect for when you're finishing up a hike or a workout, you can have some of those. So anyway, well, somebody picked up extra lemons, but anyway, we always love lemons. So I have two lemons here, organic lemons, and then um, we have the uh, cool organic lemon, fresh lemons here. And uh, what is going on with this one? 
Okay, he's okay. Love doing the lemon water. Lemon water is so good, especially to um, also flush out your liver. It's just delicious. And we do all kinds of things with lemons. So we got lemons and we're a banana family. So we got our bananas here today, a bunch of bananas. And so we got some of those. Those are organic bananas. Got a whole heap of those. And then we have our Ezekiel bread. I love Ezekiel bread. Um, it's the original low glycemic flourless sprouted grain bread, Ezekiel 4 9. And it is just delicious. It is my favorite um, bread. I love to have this in the morning with some egg whites, a little bit of vegetables, and she is good to go. Okay. And avocado too. A half an avocado or a one eighth of an avocado. Anyway, so these are some avocados that we picked up all as well. And this is our organic avocados. I'm going to have, uh, yeah, wait till these get a little soft. And I'll probably have one of these in about two days. So we got some avocados here. And then we got more flaxseed, which I absolutely love flaxseed. You guys, if you get this, this bag, please, I'm going to show you. I have been making these like crazy. And my family absolutely love them. These little no-bake energy bikes are amazing. So I'm going to make some so you guys can see how they turn out. It's very, very simple. And I have tried it with the honey or the maple syrup. And we really fancy the honey, but the maple syrup is fabulous as well. So I'm going to be making this for you all so that you can see. So stay tuned for that energy bite and a better alternative when you want something sweet because you know what all is going in there. All right. We also have the dried cranberries. I love these with my salad or even baking with them. I just love them. Y'all and guess what's back? The corn cookie. At least it was back in my store. The corn cookie. You guys remember this last year? Um, they have the cornbread cookie. I made them. Let me tell you, my family said, you have got to be kidding me. You got to get some of those next year when you see them again. They are so delicious. They taste like cornbread, but chewy, right? And sweet, of course. They are amazing. We absolutely love them. So if you see these in your store, you guys, make sure you pick them up, especially if you want to try them. They are so chewy and delicious and just a nice, delightful surprise. So the corn cookie, let me put this up higher so you guys can see it. The cornbread cookie is amazing. All right, so we got that. And then we got the whole grain lentils. Okay, got some lentils here. And then last but not least, oh no, not last but not least, we have one more surprise I'm gonna show you guys. We got this uh, Trader Joe's uh, popcorn. Joshua loves this Trader Joe's popcorn. And y'all, one more surprise. Look what's back, the Danish Kringle. And this one is, yes, raspberry. So my family are Kringle fanatics. They love the Kringle, the Danish Kringle. And so it is back. If you've never tried it, you don't know what you're missing. It is a delicious um, dessert, but we love it for breakfast on the weekend. Just cut a little half and it freezes well. You can cut the sizes you want and then just put it back in the freezer. It freezes so well and for a, a while too. I would say maybe about six months, three months, six months. So yes, it's really, really good. It'll tell you on the back, I think, how long that it, that it can freeze for. But it is an amazing um, dessert or breakfast and we absolutely love it so let me get all this stuff off the table and we're gonna finish up with the Costco haul so stay tuned all right you all so um, this is everything I got from uh, Costco tonight so let me get started with the really cold things okay so first thing we have here is a six pack of Philadelphia cream cheese there are some upcoming recipes that are requesting the full fat Philadelphia cream cheese and um, we got this and I cannot wait to make all kinds of different recipes with this. But anyway, this is a six pack. So we got that. Um, also the Parmesan Folios cheese wraps. My mom and I absolutely love these. We don't want to be on bread too much. We're trying to ease off of bread. And uh, so we really do love these as an alternative uh, for a wrap or even um, tortilla shells. Ease off of the corn, even though I got some corn cookies, but so what? <laughs> I'm not eating no box. But anyway, it's 13 grams of protein, one grams of carb. We just want to watch our carb intake. That's it. So these are absolutely delicious. We have had them before and we love 
them. You can do so many things with the folio, Parmesan folios, and they do have this in cheddar as well, and the American cheese, so, but Costco only had this flavor, this Parmesan, that type of cheese. We absolutely love the Kerrygold um, butter. It is amazing, and I love doing all kinds of things. Of course, it is just a delicious butter, okay? So we got that. Next thing we have here are these uh, strawberries. Strawberries are beginning to get sweet here in Southern California. So we have the organic, that kind of strawberries, because I'm not even gonna try it. You guys, oh, you didn't pronounce it right. So yeah, that kind of strawberry. And, um, it's organic and it's just, they just look amazing. And I cannot wait to just cut some up and just have them on a plate or in a bowl with some blueberries. And we got some blueberries here. Absolutely love the blueberries. The fruits are about to start coming out, y'all, because summer is right around the corner. Next thing we have here as far as fruit is the uh, peels, I believe that's called. Yes, the peels. Um, sweet, juicy, seedless, five pound. We we love, what's the other ones we usually get, sweeties? Cuties. Cuties. We love the cuties, but honey, don't you sleep on the pills. The pills are so good, and it's so many of them, and I just love to grab these and just have like two of them throughout the day. They are just so delicious. So we got some of those. Next thing we have here, y'all know she is just, yes. I went in there tonight, and I said, you gotta be kidding me. They, they did it again to me. They did it again. Y'all know I love the Tepiac, um macaroons. We have the strawberry, I mean, we have the Valentine ones. Were they the Tepiac? I don't think the Tepiac was Valentine's. So this one is another brand of macaroons that I absolutely love. And this is the Tepiac. And this is lemon, okay? How do you not love lemon? This, the flavors in this is the lemon. That is the first row. And then raspberry, which we know is the second row. Pistachio, which is the third. Blood orange, cannot wait to try that one. And I think I've had this one before. Blood orange, blueberry, and white chocolate. Does that not sound amazing and it's limited edition so we got some of those and they are absolutely amazing and just delicious so if you see these and you love macaroons make sure you pick them up y'all they closed the la durée in our area out here at the grove they shut it down i went there the other day to go and i'm looking like where is la durée so anyway, I had to give me a macaroon fix so I got those until I can get to Glendale or Beverly Hills. But anyway, this is the next thing we have here is the almond flour, blanched almond flour. Um, this is the California Super Fine Almond Flour. I'm gonna be making a lot of different things with this. So got a bunch of this because we're gonna need it. And then we got um, more of the monk fruit sweetener. I absolutely love the sweetener. It's my favorite. So I went ahead on and got the big one. And then we got the Simple Meals, only whole foods, ingredients, nothing artificial ever, almond flour, crackers, fine ground sea salt, and just love these. You have these with some cheese and crackers, have them by themselves, have them with some soup or chili. Uh, it's just delicious. So we have, um, uh, how many's in here? Two eight ounce, yeah, two eight point five ounce bags are in here, okay? We had these last year, right before we had to leave the office, my boss would bring these in, and I tell you, everyone would go crazy over them. This is the Limoncello Chocolate Almonds, roasted almonds covered in white chocolate and lemon cream. What I tell y'all, this is what it looks like up close. This is sinful. Watch it. You need to really take out just a few or you will go nuts. This is so amazing. And this is the information there as far as the nutrition facts. And just a little handful of these just when you have like a sweet attack and you just want to have something sweet. Just grab a couple of handful of these and you're good to go. That is the information if you want to know um, about the family or the makers of this. So that is the Skanza chocolates limoncello chocolate almonds and they are amazing okay next thing we have here i have to have this um this will forever be invited in my home i really do appreciate the fact that they have started to make this with uh sea salt instead of just regular salt so i really love this and 
I have to have garlic salt in my household. I use it in moderation, but it is my favorite flavoring. One of my favorite flavorings to add to my food in moderation, delicious. And I love the fact that it already has parsley incorporated in it. I'm a parsley fan. I have to have parsley in all my food. I just love to see that green parsley. I just absolutely love it. Okay, and then we stopped by another store and I got the Living Lettuce Simple Truth. Um, this is probably by Kroger Ralph's out here. I love this lettuce because you can tear off some of the butter lettuce leaves and I like to make sandwiches with this. Just wrap it up and roll some meat and cheese and make sandwich tuna, whatever kind, of, even taco meat and um, you know cheese and uh, cilantro, whatever you like. I just absolutely love wrapping um, this and making an alternative uh, for bread. This is awesome and it is the living because it still has the dirt and the little vines or veins or whatever you want to call that roots the roots okay and then last but not least we have the chobani coffee creamer sweet cream absolutely love this creamer and uh was looking for the hazelnut but they just had the sweet cream tonight that was it last thing i bought here from sprouts we went about sprouts really quick is our parsley i told you that i take um uh chopped up garlic raw with olive oil and um I eat it, we eat it in a spoonful, and then afterwards we take it with parsley. Parsley kills the smell of the garlic. You do not even, you can't even tell you had garlic in your mouth. And we also have a cauliflower because there's so many different things you can do with cauliflower. So we have an organic cauliflower here. All right, and then last but not least, I forgot to reach down there. This is going to be dinner for tonight. Mom and I are going to have this. I'm probably gonna remove the bread and just put it with the butter lettuce over there. But oh my goodness, mommy's gonna have the sandwich. <laughs> but yes, this is just a roasted chicken sandwich, a Caesar chicken sandwich with chicken um, meat, and chicken breast meat, and it has the um, sauce in there. And just something quick because we were out so, we were out all day today and I said, you know what, we're too tired to go home and cook something real quick. So this is something really quick just to add. Um, and so this is what we'll be having and this costs $7.59 and it's absolutely delicious. We've had it many times and we love it. All right, that is everything for this Trader Joe's and Costco haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you also hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you and you can come check me out. So thank you so much for tuning into Journey with Char. You all be blessed. Take care of yourself and eat well, but don't be afraid to treat yourself too with some treats, y'all. Because I'll tell you, you don't want a, 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 a sugar attack, <laughs> all right? You all be blessed. I'll see you soon. Always remember, trust God, keep him first, and he'll always lead you in the right direction. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.